So at long last I finally made it back to the Isle of Mull. Uh, last time I came here was in the 1980s. Um, <coughs> not doing very much fishing, I think I had to go on a, one of the small salmon rivers and I've often vowed to come back um, just for the, the sheer pleasure of being here. It's perhaps the most beautiful place on earth that I can think of. Um, and the fishing has quite a reputation, uh, not for being easy but for being memorable basically. And just looking at these surroundings you can see why people say that. What my target is, is a sea trout from salt water. Uh, I've never been able to achieve that. I must admit I haven't tried very hard. And we're here on a massive sea lock. It's a huge sort of salt water inlet in the middle of the island and as you can see here there's a little stream just coming down the, the glen there that's the mountains in the background uh, the biggest one is Ben Moore I believe and that little stream comes tumbling down the hillside under the bridge there and onto the beach here and this is where my hunch is it might be a good spot for a sea trout rivers are very very low um, it's not rained up here for months properly which is very unusual for the, the Western Highlands um, so uh, there's not really a fishable option for the stream but the, uh, the sea the sea lock is a different matter altogether I'll just go and have a quick look at the river here not very far from uh, where we parked up um, these are all single track road you have to sort of uh, pull in to let anybody past some of the pull-ins are quite big and you know big enough to uh, to park your car at the side so there's there's so much fishable water on this on the shores of this lot lots of little rocky outcrops and shallow bays and streams entering it's really difficult to know where to start so I'm very much up against it it's not somewhere I'm familiar with and uh, I'll do really well to catch anything here at all I think. This is the stream, there's a bit of a pool under the bridge and I looked earlier and to my astonishment I saw a, a shoal of sea trout under there. Lord knows how they've managed to get into here. If you look across the beach it's just, the stream just seems to disappear into the rocks, there's so little water in it. Bit of a pool here, not very deep watch carefully I just saw a big fish move up onto the bridge there I don't know whether you can see it on the camera hang on let's have a look and there's one just shot off from under the bank not a very big one I think that was a little a fennec of about maybe 10 12 inches but there are <laughs> believe me there are fish in this pool maybe three to four pounds I was absolutely gobsmacked when I saw it yeah. I think they've moved up there's one there just under the rock I don't know if you can see it it's just a shadow really difficult to see on uh, on film I'd love to catch this um, this river with a bit of water in. We forecast some rain later on in the week, so I think if we get a, a bit of flooding, I'm going to be straight up here because it must have some potential for catching uh, the migratory fish. But salmon and sea trout, you know, when there's a, a spate running, certainly sea trout. I'm not sure about salmon. We just have a walk down the pool. Like I say, you can just see that trickle coming in at the top end there. Uh, hardly anything. The rocks are hardly even wet. So let's uh, have a look down where the uh, the sea pool is, where the, this little stream trickles across the rocks and into the salt water.
bit of a bit of dead stuff being washed down with the floods at some time there or brought in with the tide I'm not sure which I'm wondering if it's possible that a very high tide could actually push into that pool on the river just below the bridge and maybe a week or two back that's how the sea trust have got in on like a very high spring tide I don't know it looks like it's just above the tide line to me but I can't be sure like I say I'm not familiar with the area and this is the uh, estuary for want of a better description very shallow just here but there is a bit of a gully um, a little bit further out where the stream the stream channel runs in it maybe goes from a foot or so deep to maybe five six feet deep and my hunch is when the tide is running coming in that's where you're likely to uh, to pull a sea trout we'll soon find out the tide's all wrong today it's going out so it's just a question of having a few casts and uh, just getting a bit of a feel for the place I'm going to be back most days I think if I can this just looks so good I've not seen anything showing normally if there's sea trout around you'll see them they'll go on popping out of the water in there probably the crash over your shoulder so a nice meaty fish sort of uh, lands back in the water after jumping four feet out but can't see an awful lot going on and this is the fly I'm using which is uh, so a variation on a teal, teal blue and silver over to the rocks and we'll have a go with the, the spinning rod and the tor my, nice bright silver toby I've had a look here and there's uh, kelp, kelp beds just off the ledge so we're in sort of deep water with a kelp forest underneath which should be ideal for holding pollock there's a chance of the odd mackerel coming past and even maybe a sea trout who knows Further along the course you can see that sort of headland there, that's you're into very deep water there. And I believe that's the spot for the uh, for the pollock. Beyond that island in the distance, that's the, the open Atlantic. So I could imagine this gets pretty windy when uh, there's a bit of a storm blowing coming in from the Atlantic. Not seeing any follows, but I must admit I like the way that Toby's working in the water. It's sort of darting and wobbling about, and there's a flash. You, any fish must be able to see from 15 feet away. What might actually work, uh, maybe a bit unorthodox in salt water, is uh, maybe soft plastic that you maybe use for perch in the canal or. Uh, you know when you fish the coarse fish uh, I don't see why it shouldn't work might pull a ras too with that that's one for the future so much fishing and uh, not enough time to do it that's the problem anyway if you want to see uh, how I went on um, you take a look at part two which is a separate video and uh, I'll see you there. Okay. Take care. Bye.